everybody, Ann here, and today I've got a few projects in mind, but one is kind of, well, I need to get it done first because I'm hungry. I think that makes a mighty fine kitchen area. I've got my water over there. I'll have to, I tip it over to uh, get water out of it. My stove, I know you probably don't think that this fabric is a good idea with the cooktop, but it's okay. It'll be fine. I'm careful. Uh, got that over there, all of that stuff, some potatoes, got some apples and onions up there, and I don't know if you can really see this, dang, it's, it's dark in here, well, it's the pantry, remember the pantry that was right in the inside of my door, uh, of the van, this is, there you go, you can see it a little bit better, there's the pantry, I just got to fill it up with all the stuff that was in it. And that is my kitchen. So, the first thing I'm going to make is some eggs and potatoes because I'm hungry. Look at that oil. Perfectly level. You guys have no idea how nice it is to be able to put oil in a pan and have it be evenly distributed. So, I don't know, it's the little things in life. <laughs> Season with a little salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm just going to toss them around, get to let these cook for a little bit, and then we'll throw the eggs on. And it is so cool to be able to stand up and cook. Oh, my goodness. While I'm waiting, I'm going to show you a few things. First of all, looks like Betty has found her spot on the porch. Pretty cool. She seems happy. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a big, huge trash heap over here. And I've gone ahead and relocated it to behind the shed. I just covered that up because the stuff in there, basically, I mean, it's just going to have to be shoveled up. Um, there's a little bit over there, but at least it's not a big visible pile from the street. And, oh, I found these cool little moss things, too, growing on these. It's tile. It looks like they're dying now, though, but pretty cool. And then I also cleaned up this area. Um, there was a bunch of white trash bags and white things um, that you could see from the street and I just, I couldn't stand the side of it so I've relocated. While we were looking around, found some cool stuff. A little knife, another knife. I don't know if they're any good. I'm going to see if I can clean them up. There's another one. Oh, yeah, definitely need one of those. Looks like it's still in functioning order. And this cool little block thingy, it has a, uh, it has a light in it. Um, I mean, not, not a light. It, you put a light underneath of it or behind it, and it has a little feather in it. And these old plates. So, what I did is I just relocated all of the trash to behind here until I can get it hauled away, covered it up, just because it was such a huge eyesore. And... Since I only have one plate, I'm letting the rain clean that off. <laughs> Eventually, I'll take it in. Some silverware, some use, usable glasses and cups and stuff. So, that's the insert to a porta potty. I don't know if I can actually use it, but oh, that reminds me. I gotta show you something. Homemade composting toilet for the win. Yay! I just found a Lowe's bucket and it wasn't cracked or anything. And I just gathered some leaves and straw and whatnot. And um, that's the only thing I could find to cover it. I sanitized the rim. So I just kind of have to, you know, hover, if you know what I mean. But so far, it's working great. Um, absolutely no odor. The leaves, the dry leaves and hay are working just fine. So I've got my own composting toilet in here. It's in the shed. I can come out here in privacy in my beautiful bathroom. And, um... You know what? Do a number two, or a number one, or both. It doesn't matter. I just cracked the eggs over the top of the uh, potatoes, and I'm going to let them cook like that. Put the lid on, and cook for a little bit longer till they're done. Yes! And it's done. I'm going to plate it up, and sit out on my porch, and eat it, but uh, I don't think you need to watch me do that. Of course, Betty always gets her share. She's such a good girl. I've got the pantry stocked, and I'm sorry the lighting is so poor, but we're just going to close this up. Got my kitchen area set up. 
This is not the final product, of course. I've got all my little towels and hot pads, coffee down there. Oh, I've got my scrubby. I've got another scrubby in the van um, that Francie from Finding Joy Through Serving made for me. I use the heck out of this thing. I have to, I keep promising a video that'll show it in action. It really, really cleans very, very well. But this is my kitchen. My kitchen is no longer located in the van. So that means I'll have to leave the van to be able to cook. And I have to tell you, there's a certain amount of melancholy that goes along with it. I know I've said it before, but <sighs> that van, I love her. The next thing I'm considering doing is figuring out if I want to relocate the solar to around the house. I don't know if I can do it. It doesn't look sunny right now. There's a little patch of sun. Um, and that's because the sun comes in and out of the trees. But for most of the day, this area is pretty darn sunny. So, they are located over there, out the side of the van. I was thinking of locating them over in this area. But what I don't remember is if the cord is long enough to reach up, I'd have to get it through the screen somehow. And I don't know, in through the window. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drill a hole. But I think that the cord might be thin enough to be able to put it through the window. I don't know. I just don't know. So I'm going to investigate that right now and uh, see if I can add that to my day. Hmm, looks like it's doable. It's not the best thing for the wire, but it locks. This wire is just thin enough to be able to do this, so this may not be the best way to do it. I know I need to probably drill a hole so people can't get this window open, but it still seems pretty solidly locked. There's just a little space right down here, so you know what? I'm gonna try and do this solar thing right now. What do you know? It's able to work. It's charging. Let's take a look outside. I got the panels out here and they just go in through the window. Um, and I'm just going to double check to make sure that it locks and that everything is working. Look at that poor shattered panel. But you know what? It still charges great. It does work. This is not ideal. No, I'm not going to be able to keep it like this. But the window remains locked just as tightly as it did without that in it. So I just dipped it down in the recess. So let me close this all up and see what it looks like. Here it is, my inelegant power station. Um, but it's charging, which is great. And I know that those two, uh, those two wires are really kind of too big. But it's all I had at the time. So let's see if this will charge something. Paid it in, and voila, it works. So this inverter, which I need to wipe down, it's been on the floor of my van. Um, yeah, it's just got a little knob here to turn it on. I don't have to actually turn it on like that to charge, um, even if you have this part off. This is just for where you plug stuff in. And it is charging. I got electricity. <laughs> a little tiny bit of a electricity. I am so tempted to just bring the mattress in here and put it on the floor over there and spend the night in here. It's just beginning to feel more like home. I mean, seriously, take a look at it. So far. And uh, I need to sweep again. That was my little seat I was sitting on. But it feels, it's feeling like home. Oh, I don't know guys. I could just put the bed right here and just cover up with a bunch of blankies. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I'm just sitting here on my porch in a chair that I found in the shed and it's surprisingly in good shape, very comfortable. Trying to figure out if I'm going to sleep in this house overnight. It would mean I would have to put the mattress on the floor. It's going to be cold. I don't know, probably colder than the van. I don't know. You bet I am. I drug my mattress in here and I just put it on the floor, 
put the bedding on it. I put my little green coverlet over the top of it so Betty doesn't get her dirty paws on my quilt that my mom gave to me. I am totally spending the night in this cabin and it's going to be cold, but I got my buddy heater, so hopefully it'll be okay. That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.